Yeah. You know which warlord the sky is now general of endorsing Tiffany the Malfo bringing all the blessing right team. You know our team go. Bang! Feed that! The sixth string back to you. And a brand. Large Tiffany Malfo! Yeah. You know the team go. Um, have you encountered any celebrities going to studio or backstage or anything like that? Um, <laughs> celebrities. Um, you said earlier you met Beanie Man. I mean, well, not even just being in the studio. Like that's been from time. That's like a normal encounter. But yeah, um, yeah, the Beanie Man, the Bounty Killer, like every artist that you can probably t typically think about that's like Jamaican and it's big. Yeah, definitely, I have. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a misconce misconception of um from being a reggae artist from Toronto and from being a reggae artist from Jamaica. Yeah, definitely. Um, people take it a little more serious when you're from Jamaica. You feel um, like you have to prove yourself when you're from Toronto? You yeah, you really do. Because at the end of the day, the, the good thing for me is I was born in Jamaica. I live here, but I was born in Jamaica. So um, things coming from me sound authentic. A lot of times you have people doing reggae or dance hall and you can tell from the accent that you're trying to sound like you're talking patwa. It doesn't sound real. So it's just like you're like, uh I'll accept it, but I know you're from the, yeah, I know you're from Teal, like, so it's okay. When you go to Jamaica, do people, um, since you come from Canada, do they not take you seriously?